when it came to Thor Ragnarok, it was a departure from what was already established to be a tone for the Thor films. A lot more grounded and a lot more boring when it came to the color palette. Taika and the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe crew decided they were going to go in a full Jack Kirby direction. Now, apparently some brand new details have leaked out on what exactly the original intent for the third Thor film was, so let's get into all that. So if you guys want the full story of how this info was discovered, who's claiming it, it will be linked in the description down below. Apparently he is a source that knew somebody that was close to the actual development of the early Thor film, or what would be Thor Ragnarok. So I will toss it up on the screen while I talk about it, so let's get into what the film would have been. So for instance, the original vibe would have been almost a horror-like film. It was going to be a lot more dark and a lot more serious. And it was going to go closer to the Norse mythology of what Ragnarok was, where everybody dies. Loki was already on the run with the Tesseract as Odin, since he was already posing as Odin, and he would have had it the entire film. And it would have been revealed at the end. Thor and Loki were gonna find the homeless and deranged Odin in the back alleys of New York, which we know from set photos and original footage that this was in fact in there. And it was due to his bad health when he passes that Hela is finally able to break out and do her attack. A lot of the Planet Hulk slash Sakaar stuff still remained, but it was much darker than what we ended up getting in the final version. Valkyrie had a much bigger role, and it was a much darker and more depressing character with a bunch of alcoholism being portrayed. And in this version, Hela was never revealed to be the sister of Thor. So if we just look at this and kind of match it up with some of the stuff we heard before from early interviews and stuff, I think a lot of it makes sense. And if you go back and look at the original Thor Ragnarok logo, what it was, a much darker looking logo and compared to what we got with the final logo i think some of this could hold true but ultimately this is marvel studios um we'll never really know what the original case was there's a chance they'll never talk about it or reveal some of the conceptual art or anything like that and since we've already seen some of the conceptual art but not any of the uh you know extensive versions of it you can see that there was a lot of darker elements in there now unfortunately you know i think some people would have rather gotten this film me myself and i think everybody here here at the CBC, we love what they did with Ragnarok and going more of a full-on Jack Kirby look. So to me, I like what we got, but there's no doubt in my mind I would have liked to see what this could have ended up being. But I think they made the right choice. The second one definitely did not work out going to a darker side, so bringing on Taika and changing directions, in my opinion, saved the franchise and has given us a fourth film. 